Alright, hey what's up YouTube? Today we're going to be doing another tutorial in After Effects. Today we're going to be going over motion tracking. Now, motion tracking is extremely useful and is something you want to use throughout the whole time you're going to be ever using After Effects. Motion tracking not only just does a basic thing, but you can do so much stuff with it. But today we're just going to be going over basic motion tracking for people who want to just do some projects but don't exactly know how to get it done. Alright, so the first thing you want to know is that you can do motion tracking in a lot of different types of programs, but we're going to be doing it right here in After Effects. Now, if you want to know some good motion tracking programs, there is uh, Mocha, which comes with CS5, it's great, um, and also uh, there is PF Track, which is also good, but it's a little more advanced. And you can do 3D motion tracking, which I'll probably cover in another tutorial. So, what you want to do for motion tracking, you just want to import your footage. And I'll import it here. And if you don't know how to do any of this, like I said in my previous tutorial, you want to watch my first tutorial on basic Adobe After Effects stuff. So I'll just drag this in. And uh, it's right there. So here's my original footage. It's just a basic, uh, a basic little iPhone thing here. And what motion tracking really allows you to do is, if say if there's camera movement, um, that you can actually uh, track the shapes to a certain object so that way they follow the camera. Now this wasn't very good motion tracking but um, it was just some, as an example I did for this tutorial. did it in about five minutes. Um, so yeah, you know, what you can see is that normally when you just drag and drop things like onto the timeline they'll stick with the camera and if your camera moves a lot. So we're going to fix that. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and to go through your footage and you want to make sure that you have good lit footage and also you want to, if you're moving a lot, you want to shoot at a higher shutter speed than you normally would because you don't want there to be as much motion blur when you motion track so that way the tracker with an After Effects can easily find your tracking points. And also, I what I found out that you won't want to do color correct. You want to do color correction after you motion track something, because sometimes when you color correct it, it looks a little hard to uh, read. So what we're gonna do now is go into Window and enable Tracker and check it off. Now mine's already checked off, so I'll just go ahead and do that. And you may need to drag it down to make some space. And so what we're gonna do here with our clip highlighted you're going to click track motion. Now as you can see we have this little point here and uh, so you kind of maybe kind of confused with that. This, what this allows you to do is drag this on any point in your footage and that will, uh, the camera will follow that and it'll track that so that way your objects aren't flying around the screen and it'll stick to a certain point. Now if your camera is like rotating around or maybe you know if it's kind of uh, shaky up and down you want to use rotation, and you always want position, unless you're going to be doing something else, and scale as if you're zooming in and out. So I'm just going to do position and rotation, because I'm not zooming in or out. And you want to go to the very beginning of your clip, but I'm just going to go to the point where I want to track from. Which is like, right here. I'll, I'll just start tracking from here. Alright. So what you want to do is you want to find the first frame you want is a point that's not like blurred out where the object you want to track is not blurred out. So everything's in focus here. Now to motion track, you here there are basically two things you want to do to select a point. You want something that's of high contrast in your scene, like a white. This white dot would be okay. I mean, it's not a great motion tracking point. But one thing to do if you want to follow the phone would be the dot here. Now this is a really good point because it stays in frame the whole time and it's very contrasted from, or very distinct from just everything else around the scene. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to, uh, when we see the big uh, little arrow type thing here, we're going to select, we're going to click that and we're just going to drag it to where we want to track. So as I said, this was a point of high contrast and it stays in frame for the whole time you're going to be tracking. So yeah. There you go. And maybe we'll drag it a little bit more to like right here. And then we'll expand, we'll close the box up a little bit. To close the box is to kind of stay more or less inside that one point. So we'll close it up there. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. 
remove that. All right, so that one's good, and you want your second point to be a little further away from your first point. So with this shot, I actually had a pretty hard time finding a second point because, um, you know, it wasn't uh, it wasn't easy because I couldn't find anything of high contrast that was on the phone besides that one at the bottom. But I think I found one that would work for a short little shot here. So I'm gonna scroll up here and uh, I think this little white dot on the uh, phone here it stays in frame for pretty much the whole time and it's quite contrasted so what you want to do now is if you think you have two good points or one good point you want to click analyze and click the play button and analyze forward now as you can see mine's getting off a lot um, because you know it kind of loses that little shine there and it's trying to track that so we can do that and if we don't like it we can go ahead and click reset and we have our track points, and we'll just drag, like I said, this one back down. And I'm not going to go crazy with this because it's a tutorial, and you can do however you want. Uh, you can go more in-depth and more accurate. And the more accurate your track is, the better off your actual point will be. So we're going to go ahead and go right. Maybe the camera here is pretty contrasted and stays in frame. So we'll go back and just move that. And we're going to go ahead and analyze forward. And that one is a good tracking point. It stays in frame and also it doesn't seem to get off too much. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and create a new null object. And we're going to go ahead and edit target. And we're going to make the motion go over to our null object. So we'll click apply X and Y. And as you can see, we can just go ahead and scroll up here. Our can't or our um null object sticks to our um th our our phone from the point in time where we tracked it from so that would be probably around right here so yeah as you can see it's a pretty good track um right yeah there we go so now it's sticking to the phone from where we wanted it to and so yeah now what you can do is you can take in maybe text just to test it out or no sorry you can take in some text and you can just type something like uh, uh, subscribe and you know you can change that to whatever you like and it doesn't have to be text but I'm just doing some basic this can get very advanced you can start parenting pictures and pre-comping layers and pre-parenting them and you can do 3D tracking and all sorts of stuff but this is just a basic ideology of motion tracking within After Effects. So once we parent the uh, text layer that we want to follow the phone to our null object and we go to the point in time where we uh, want it where it starts to stick to it as you can see it sticks there and it makes it look like it's part of a scene so that way it doesn't look like you just pasted it on there and uh, it's a good track and so if you liked this tutorial uh, please just make sure that you subscribe because I'll, there definitely is going to be more in the future so yeah make sure you rate comment subscribe and comment again like I said if you need any help um, and also visit videocopilot.net because they have great tutorials and they're a little bit they're definitely better at making advanced tutorials than I am so yeah thanks and bye